I'm Nolia Binti Othman. I'm 55 years old Then I have a ICD implant on my left chest. We've been married for the last 35 years. Um, about a month ago, my wife uh, uh, collapsed and, and, and she became unconscious. Uh, on the day when, whereby she collapsed, basically the heart stopped uh, and her breathing also stopped. It, it stopped for quite a prolonged period uh, from the place where she collapsed until she was brought by ambulance to Changi General Hospital. My name is Dr. Kelvin Wong. I'm one of the consultant cardiologists working at Changi General Hospital. I'm an electrophysiologist who specializes in heart rhythm problems. The patient, Nolia, had a sudden cardiac arrest. This is different from the normal heart attacks that we see more commonly. Sudden cardiac arrest is due to an electrical short circuit of the heart, resulting in the heart failing to pump. This can cause a sudden cardiac death. Nolia is very lucky in that she received urgent medical attention at that time. From now, uh, after the cardiac investigations, it was found that she had an electrical condition predisposing her to this cardiac arrest. She is at high risk of developing further cardiac arrest and hence we are recommending that a implantable cardioverter defibrillator be inserted to protect her from such events in the future. So after uh, the briefing by the doctor, we actually decided that uh, it, is, it is good for her to have that implant. The ICD then acts as a constant monitor of your heart rhythm. If it detects fast heart rate, then it is able to administer treatment, including a shock, which could potentially save lives. Hence, putting in the ICD is like uh, buying a life insurance, which can potentially protect you from sudden cardiac death. The procedure is usually a one and a half hour procedure. It is straightforward and simple, uh, but it carries minor complication. The most common complication is a bit of bruising over the wound area. The procedure is done in catheter laboratory, like a theatre condition. Uh, it is done in very clean conditions. The risk of infection is small. Because we introduce the lead through a vein in the top of the chest, there is a small chance of puncturing the lung, which is less than 1%. The implant actually involves a, a minor incision over the, over the left chest, uh, the upper chest, uh, and the device is basically implanted uh, under the muscles. Uh, basically, it's not so visible. You, you can't actually see it because the, the, the scar is actually very, very slight. After implantation of the ICD, the patient is usually observed overnight in the hospital uh, and they will have a check of the device the next day and also a chest x-ray uh, to look at lead position. Uh, following implantation for the next four to six weeks, patients are advised not to lift up their elbows above the shoulder. Uh, they are also uh, encouraged not to carry heavy stuff with their left hand. This is to ensure that the lead has settled down and not moved. However, uh, patients should continue to use their arms uh, so that they do not develop stiff shoulder. In the first two weeks after the procedure, patients are advised not to wet the dressing uh, to allow appropriate and complete healing of the wound site. Immediately after the implant for about two weeks, uh, she's not able to shower uh, chest down, uh, chest up, uh, basically because of the, the wound. Uh, this to prevent any infection. Uh, she's also not uh, advised not to raise her hand beyond her shoulder level. Following that, if all is well, they are discharged uh, to be followed up in a week to two weeks' time to review their wound. After that, uh, in about a month's time, they will have check of their device once again to ensure proper functioning of the device. Subsequently, the patient will be monitored once every six months uh, to check on their device function and the battery life. In general, this battery will last about seven years. It doesn't affect her, her lifestyle very much. Uh, but she has to also be conscious when she sleeps. Uh, she shouldn't turn to the left because that's where the device is. 
Uh, but after two weeks, uh, also when the wound has more or less healed, uh, she has greater freedom in the sense that she can shower. Uh, she's able to, her mobility is not affected. Uh, she's able to lift uh, things, but not, not heavy stuff. Uh, primarily after the ICD implant, after a month or so, uh, basically her life can go back to normalcy.